Hello everyone, this is how you install RAM on a Dell Latitude 3540. Before we start anything, you're going to need two sets of tools. Um, one of them is a Phillips head screwdriver. The other one is a smaller flat head screwdriver. And most importantly, well, second most important thing, your RAM. And most important is your laptop. So, first things first. You're going to want to take the uh, laptop battery out and make sure the bed or make sure the laptop is off. On these uh, Latitude 3540s, it's a little button they have to push to the side. Another switch, and you are able to pull the battery out from the back. So now you know the laptop is off. Next thing you want to do is there are uh, there's an access panel to uh, get to the customer replaceable parts which is the RAM and the hard drive and there are two screws that you remove one here and one over here and you just start unscrewing them and this uses the uh, Phillips head screwdriver Now, this panel is actually kind of tricky to get off, and I'll show you guys what I mean in a minute. So you get that second screw up, there's a feather, no, there's not a feather. <clears throat> so once you get this off, you kind of lift the panel up a little bit, and it starts to come up around here, and you have to kind of pull this back, um, pull this panel that way. And you see how it starts to separate up there, like right here? See that? You need to get your flathead screwdriver in there and pry up. You hear that pop? That means that the uh, case separated from the panel and you just kind of pry up from there. And that's what will take off that. Set that aside for now. Before you touch anything, make sure you ground yourself. Uh, you're at the point where you need to make sure that you are properly grounded. There's no static on you. Otherwise, you are going to fry your motherboard or fry the newly purchased RAM, etc., etc. So I have a metal cabinet that I'm touching along with a metal pole. Um, I should be good. There should not be any static on me. Uh, next up, you find the stick of RAM that you want to replace. So I already have a stick of 1866 uh, rip jaws here. I'm going to remove the old 1600 stick of RAM. Basically in laptops you just, there's two metal tabs, you separate them from the RAM and spring load it so it automatically just pops up. You remove it, this is the old RAM. And you want to replace that with the new RAM. And sometimes getting out of these plastic cases is a little bit more difficult than anything else. Okay, so I've gotten the RAM out, <clears throat> and the only thing you really need to do with uh, RAM installations on a laptop is see how there are, uh, there's that little notch there, line that up with what you have here, push it in all the way, and you'll feel it hitting the bottom of that slot, press down until you hear the click. That would be the click. Uh, maybe not. Oh yeah, that was the click. I lied. Um, yeah, it's about as far down as it goes. Okay, now all that's left is for you to put the uh, the panel back on. And on these, it's kind of tricky. You uh, you have to put it back a certain way. So see how it's got these uh, these teeth four teeth here and make sure you line them up with the uh, three holes there and kind of press down and this should kind of start to pop into place and all that should be left for you 
is for you to screw these back in. Once you get these to a somewhat tight state, you should begin to feel all of this smoothing out and it's kind of pressed down on any parts that kind of stick up. <clears throat> Make sure there's no more loose ends, loose panels popping up and put the battery back in these. You put the front in, or what I would consider the front, and you drop the back in, and it should just pop into place. Now, you can take your laptop, boot it back up, Head into the BIOS and make sure it sees all 8 gigs of RAM. You should be good. Thanks for watching, everyone.